What is up, boys? It's currently 5 a.m. in the morning. Slept for like one and a half hours. I was having a talk with my trainer, and uh, we decided on doing my first pro fight, my pro debut in the winter. So he said it would be a good idea if I go and watch the finals for boxing, the Olympics, because it's basically the best boxers in the world. He said it would be a very good idea if I can go watch, analyze, slept for only one hour. Had a lot of work yesterday, finished working at like 3.30 in the morning till I fell asleep for woke up five minutes ago so yeah basically decided to go got first row tickets for the finals for boxing and now we're on our way to Paris France I might even go check Disneyland film for you guys do a very nice vlog maybe I saw that at the boxing Olympics there's Jake Paul, Gervonta Davis, Alexander Rusik, Floyd Mayweather, a lot of big names. So I bought the most expensive ticket you can buy when it comes to going to the finals and hopefully I can see them there. Maybe interview one of them, take a picture, <laughs> who knows. One thing I want to show you boys is at Disneyland, other than buying the normal tickets, there's another thing you can buy, it's called Fast Access. And this is basically where you have your own lane and all the other normal people, the poor people I would say, are waiting in line. But for you, you can just go on the ride immediately. I know for families and for kids this might not be fair, but this just shows you that this is life, bro. If you have money, you don't wait in line. Let me walk you guys through my fairy tale Disney suite for the night. Eh, the bathroom looks okay. But the room is very nice because I told the <clears throat> workers on the reception I want it to be frozen themed. They didn't have many options by the way, they had this, Mickey Mouse and something else. No, they had like four or five, I didn't know, I knew the others, but this one I didn't know and the name Frozen was like, this should be better than Mickey Mouse, but apparently it's okay. You can also see my name on the TV as well. Family has soon, but I'm not with my family. 
up boys woke up at like 8 a.m went did my morning run now i'm at chilling at the pool we'll do a couple of rounds here can't give any verdict when it comes to my opinion on Paris yet because I still didn't go to the city center, I still didn't go anywhere. I went to Disneyland immediately and took a hotel here, slept here. And my honest opinion on Disneyland Paris is I mean, it's nice, it's cool, but sleeping here and using their facilities and everything, well, it's just a big upsell scam. It's literally, I don't, like, I don't know how normal families, let's say you're a family of three, four parents and two, three children. Coming here is extremely expensive, bro. If you want to sleep here and not go to the other hotels that are like, because you have the Disneyland Hotel, which is inside the park. This is where I booked my stay, and I paid, I believe, somewhere close to 1.8k for one night here two people because here they they charge you per person not per night from what i've seen and uh imagine you're a family of four two parents and two children you have to pay like 2.5k to sleep here and then say another 1k for food i'm not exaggerating because the food here is extremely expensive that's 3.5k let's say you don't want to wait in line i'll post a screenshot as well of how much i paid for this ultimate access uh, bullshit to just skip the line and go inside i believe it was like 700 euros for two people so imagine for four that's another 1.4k so that's 5k in one day just come enjoy Disneyland with your kids and sleep here from what I'm seeing boys everything is becoming extremely expensive I don't know how your normal average 9 to 5 guy that has a salary of 1k 2k a month can survive and go on holiday and take care of his children and his wife and take them into nice places like it just shocks me boys <laughs> What is up boys? Just made it to the gym. It's currently 9 a.m. in the morning, doing a little workout. A little verdict I would like to give about France, Paris, to be more exact. Imagine that the Uber driver that was that took me from Disneyland to the city, he was asking me, is it your first time in Paris? I said yes. He's like, do you think it's clean? I was like, no, bro. I've been looking left and right while we were going with the car. Paris reminds me of Lebanon. It actually reminds me of Lebanon. It does look like Lebanon when it comes to the streets. It's extremely dirty. I mean, here in Lebanon, you don't see that many homeless people. But here, when we passed next to a kind of a bad neighborhood, it was filled with homeless people. I went out last night to eat. Walking on the street in Paris is a bit different I would say from what I'm used to in Romania because you see a lot of drunk people holding bottles or running shouting and I'm in a good area in Paris by the way and then you have people that basically I'm just walking I walk past them and they're giving me a side eye and looking at me like this like these people I never understand like what do you win bro genuinely what do you win let's say you're staring at me and then I stare at you, and then we fight, and then I beat the fuck out of you. What did you win, bro? Like, these little stares like this and looking at people on the street, this, this for me is a very big sign of someone that has an extremely low IQ. Extremely low IQ to be doing the stupid shit. Like, we used to do this when we were kids, bro. But yeah, we'll finish my training session get dressed, go to the Eiffel Tower, go somewhere nice, eat and then tonight boys we're going to watch the finals at the Olympics boxing. Just came to Gucci 
boys trying out some outfits this is more of my style boys went down to get a coffee and decided to talk about what happened yesterday first thing crazy night like something i never experienced before the vibe was crazy the people the seats were amazing we had literally front row in front of us were the judges and then the ring and that's it the seats were crazy the vibe was crazy it was an amazing night i went to end this vlog with a little message for the people that watched what happened in the olympics and saw how basically the media tried to make everyone get distracted from their own work and focus on some stupid story as everyone saw whoever watched the olympics or watched the news one of the final bouts i watched yesterday was for this uh, algerian fighter i'm not going to specify if she's a man or a woman because i honestly do not care if you look deep into the story you would see that her father was crying on TV saying that that fighter is a woman and she had her periods and he raised her as a woman. That fighter participated in previous events and organizations and other Olympic events and no one was calling that fighter a transgender back then. So why did they decide to call this fighter a transgender right now? I don't know. Then on the other side, you have science is saying that uh, the blood tests show that she has the Y chromosome or some bullshit like that. But the idea of this video is I went there and I watched it and I watched the whole thing for entertainment purposes only. And I want you guys to do the same thing. And not only with this, with anything in life, anything that's going viral on the news, going viral on social media, because everyone was extremely invested, emotionally invested in this news that like this thing, if she's a man or a woman, like this would never change your life. This is not gonna help you with anything. It's not gonna make you rich. It's not gonna change your life in any way possible. So, my advice and i'm ending the vlog with this anything you see on the internet just take it as entertainment purposes only at the end of the day if it was a man fighting woman it it happened before on eric sef where it was one man fighting two women mma it was extremely entertaining if this was the case right now haha it was entertaining if it was a woman also entertaining hats down for her she became an olympian so we're going to sadly end the vlog here hopefully we'll see you boys next time